What's up guys and welcome back to Fanboy Talks, a channel all about what you fanboys and fangirls might care about. My name is and has always been Von Hyde and today has been my, verse, my first video back for a while. I haven't made one in a couple months uh, just because I wasn't sure the direction of the channel and wh what way I wanted to go. Um, I really enjoyed the way I was doing it, the Funko Pops and all the unboxings and everything, but recently I've decided to no longer collect Funko Pops um, just because there are so many in my opinion, better um, collectibles that I, I could be spending my money on just purely because uh, not a variety um, or not liking Funko themselves. They make a great product, especially for the price, but it's just because uh, recently I've gotten a little bit more into more detailed collectibles. Um, and if I'm going to buy a collectible, I want to make sure it's nice and detailed. Uh, but today's unboxing is going to be a little bit different than what the channel is really going to be focusing on. Uh, this channel from now on is really going to be about games because that is my passion. That's what I want to do later in life. That's what I'm doing this for. Um, is because I eventually want to be a game journalist and uh, I absolutely love video games they're my passion they're everything about them I think is amazing I'm mostly about narrative driven uh, stuff I'm not a gameplay is king kind of a guy or key however people want to say that um but I will be doing unboxings for video game collectibles and uh, like collector's editions and stuff like that so if you guys like the unboxings they're still going to be coming they just might not be they're they're not the forefront of this channel anymore i won't be doing three unboxings a week and stuff like that i will mostly just be doing um mostly discussion videos possibly some let's plays and stuff like that but i really just want to focus on the talks portion um so i want to develop this channel into kind of a community where we can have civil discussion about video games and stuff like that i love video games and i hope a lot of my viewers do too but when i do do stuff that's weird um when i do stuff about collectibles and stuff like that it'll mostly be about video game collectibles so this right here is the devil from cuphead cuphead is an xbox exclusive or i should specifically say microsoft exclusive property at the moment um it's really interesting it's indie it's been in development for years it came out not too long ago a couple months ago at the moment it's only digital um so collectors sadly uh if you are a physical collector like i am you won't be able to purchase it physically right at the moment but it is a fantastic game i'd absolutely recommend anybody picking up it up super it's super fun um so today is the unboxing of this figure but my new unboxings are going to be a little bit different than they used to be because now it's not necessarily focusing on the product I'm unboxing. It's focusing on the product as a whole. So I'm going to be talking about this and how it pertains to the video game and giving you guys a little bit of background to show you what this video game is like so that you can then possibly purchase or look up more about this video game. It's not necessarily all about the collectible, but I do really enjoy collectibles and I'm still going to be giving you guys close ups and stuff like that but there will be more of a like a lore section or a gameplay section kind of a thing i'm not a hundred percent sure how i want to do these videos but i'm so glad to be back and doing them and uh i just i really hope you guys enjoy the new direction of this channel because i absolutely love video games and that's really what i want to talk about um i will be talking about other stuff possibly um obviously i'll be doing unboxings and stuff like that but it's mostly going to be about video games and video game news. Uh, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Click that bell icon. Um, and it'll let you know about all my upcoming videos. But let's get into the rest of this video. Studio MDHR released Cuphead September 29th, 2017 to a worldwide audience that praised the game for its beautiful art style, tight controls, and its frustrating difficulty. The premise of the game was very simple. Cuphead and his pal Megman made a bet with the devil and lost, so they now have to reclaim souls for said devil. But what really makes this game shine is its animation style, which is actually called Rubber Hose style of animation. So if you ever need a super weird way to describe Steamboat Mickey cartoons, uh, now I guess now I guess you have one. So that's that's cool, right? Cuphead's world revolves around continuous and aggravating boss fights, which reward you with coins that you can then exchange at Pork Rinds Emporium for upgrades that will help you in later boss fights. There are also several run and gun sections that will allow you to receive coins for performing Mario-esque platforming feats and brandishing your quick reflexes. The two things that everyone agrees on about Cuphead is that it's amazing and needs to be played, but also that it's not for everyone. 
But if you're up for the challenge, Cuphead is so much fun and so rewarding. But if all that hasn't convinced you or you're just a self-proclaimed ratings whore, then here are some reviews. Metacritic gave it an 86 with a user rating of 8.5, IGN gave Cuphead an 8.8 .8 out of 10, and Steam has it at very positive to overwhelmingly positive reviews. So yeah, just go buy the freaking game. It's like 20 bucks. It's an awesome game, I promise you. It's, it's so amazing. So now that we're in the close-up portion of this video, I've definitely seen some things that I'm not super stoked about. Um, it's This is mostly the reason, uh, a lot of these reasons are the same reasons that I'm no longer going to be collecting Funko Pops. And it's stuff like, I don't know, there's like, if you guys can see that, there's a line going from around his head, uh, down his chin. And it goes all the way around to the base of his head. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of that to see that it was essentially like uh, put together in several pieces and then assembled I mean, obviously that's how they do it um, But I wish those lines were a little bit more seamless a little bit less noticeable It really would have like overall increased the quality of this vinyl figure for me um, Plus, I mean you can see the joints between his arms right there. It's definite. There's a line there a line there I mean, this is a good figure. It definitely portrays the character accurately. I do really enjoy the fire base. I love that they included that, like right here. Um, and he looks exactly like the art style of the video game, which is like the old Steamboat Mickey stuff. Um, it's, it's really cool. It's old-timey cartoon stuff. I just would have wished that they would put a little bit more care into uh, the craftsmanship of this uh, of this vinyl figure. That's that's really the same reasons that I'm no longer collecting pops um, As you can see I still have most of my collection there But I am in the middle of uh, selling them so you'll slowly see them dwindle Thank you guys so much for watching this video If you guys liked it click that like button down below click that subscribe button as well and click that bell icon uh, To get all my upcoming videos and it'll also let you know when I upload them so you can just click on them watch them uh, hate them enjoy them leave comments such Kind of a thing. Um, if you guys like to talk to me outside of the channel, uh, follow me on Twitter at Hyde Legion. That's where you can find me. At. Um, I have recently started to try to tweet more and get on there more. So uh, yeah, yeah, come on over there, have some civil discussion about games because that is what this channel is all about now. Um, and I'm really excited to hear from some of you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a great day.